Hey folks, welcome back. We are taking a look today at uh, from Vivo, our good friends at Vivo, a meteorological station here. We're actually about 10 stories up above the skyline of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You got you got Lake Michigan out there, there's a freighter out there. And I apologize for the wind, it is a little windy, but I wanted to try this thing out. We're gonna show you, we're gonna show you it online, show you what it costs. Very you know easy to use. This thing can actually hook up to the weather underground and you can turn it into your own weather station where you can hook up to it via Wi-Fi. Pretty cool. Let's take a closer look. Alright, so there's the receiver. I apologize for the noise. Got a 500 ton chiller running right there. But you can see it shows you the temps out and in. Um, right there, that's what's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. I don't have Wi-Fi up here. But here's your signal strength to that outside unit. And we're about 20 feet away and going through two walls and it works just fine. It tells you the wind direction, the speed, inside temperature, and then everything else on here. It's really kind of cool. All right, so we're back inside. Uh, here's the price. Uh, 100 bucks, but remember, there's a 5%. I've got a discount code down below in the description. Get 5% off all products at vbor.com. This thing's got, you can see a rainfall sensor, wind direction, wind speed, and does all the temperature, you, even UV light. So if you want to know, need to put sunscreen on the kids, this thing's going to tell you. A screen, if you're wondering about the size, it's seven and a half inches, and it does have four level dimming. This is just the easiest way to show you folks. So here's all the dimensions, if you're wondering what the dimensions are, and there are all the specifics. Now this does require, if you're gonna go on Wi-Fi, it does require it to be 2.4 gigahertz. So if you're wondering about the batteries on this unit, it does have lithium ion batteries, and those are, does have a solar panel. So when you install this, you install that facing the south. All right, and it does have a quick start guide so you can see how to set it up. Here's your instructions. Like I said, you can hook this thing up and make your own weather station on the weather under underground. And then if you want to know, you know, if you go away for, for a weekend or a week or something like that, you want to know what the weather is really back home, you just go to your weather underground station and uh, it'll tell you. I think it's pretty cool. And the whole thing's less than a hundred bucks. At less than a hundred bucks, folks, I don't know how you can resist this. If you ever wanted to get one of these, this is the time to do it. Super simple to hook up. Remember, if I can do it, so can you. Tom Horseman at YouTube, thumbs up, leave a comment. And as always, I appreciate you watching.